I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up Death awaits. Russia surrounds Bakhmut while Ukraine sends troops. Who will survive? What happened in the 51st week of Russia's war in Ukraine? Ukraine faced its toughest week so far this year on the Eastern Front, where its defenders lost more ground to Russian forces but committed enormous resources to holding Bakhmut, a coal mining town that has acquired emblematic importance to both sides. Russian troops have been launching probing attacks on a wide front in Donetsk, half of which they now occupy. But their main effort has been to take Bakhmut, whose eastern outskirts they hold. We are storming house by house, square meter by square meter. Hard work is going on, said Yevgeny Prigozhin, the financier behind Wagner Paramilitary Company, which is heavily involved in the fighting for Bakhmut. But Russian forces have become bogged down in this fight, and in the 51st week of the war, they changed tactics. On February 9, it became apparent that Russia had begun an attempt to choke off Bakhmut from further resupply. Blocking of Ukrainian supplies began in the area of Chasiv Yar and Berkovka, a Russian military reporter said, referring to two settlements through which Bakhmut's lines of communication run. If this happens, Bakhmut will be in a tactical encirclement, and Ukrainian troops will be completely cut off from the supply of ammunition, medicines and fuel. The next day Britain's Ministry of Defense said Wagner forces appeared to have advanced 2 to 3 kilometers, 1 to 2 miles, around the north of Bakhmut in three days, a remarkably rapid push in a battle where front lines had barely moved for months. It said they were now threatening the E-40, Bakhmut's northbound highway connecting it to Slovyansk. Russian news agency TASS quoted Donetsk officials as saying that Moscow's forces were in control of all access roads to Bakhmut, including the local T-0504, which runs into the city from the west. But the truth turns out to be more complicated. A Ukrainian military analyst said supplies were still getting through, something confirmed by Russian military reporter, Rybar, who said Russian possession of the E-40 and T-0504 did not constitute operational encirclement. Thanks to the network of branched ring roads in the fields between the main routes, Ukrainian formations almost unhindered transfer reinforcements to the crucible of the Bakhmut meat grinder, Rybar wrote. Rybar also belied the claim that the E-40 was taken or even under Russian fire control, he said Ukraine was preparing to tactically withdraw from Periskovivka in order to make a firmer stand at neighboring Verkovka, a way station on the E-40 highway through which it was still able to supply Bakhmut with ammunition. Prigozhin confirmed the Ukrainian resupply of men and ammunition. In all directions the enemy is becoming more active, pulling up more and more new reserves. Every day, from 300 to 500 new fighters approach Bakhmut in all directions. Artillery fire intensifies every day, Prigozhin said. Russian forces attacked a semicircle of settlements north, northeast, south and west of Bakhmut on February 12-13 in an effort to complete their encirclement, but it was not working. There are no conditions for encircling the enemy in the northern regions, Prigozhin said. Prigozhin also told a military reporter that Russia was continuing to face stiff resistance in Bakhmut itself. It is probably too early to say that we are close, the Wagner chief said of taking Bakhmut. There are many roads out and fewer roads in. Ukrainian troops are well trained. Ukrainian Eastern Forces spokesman Serhi Cherevadi said the two sides had clashed 17 times within Bakhmut on February 14, and reported hundreds of casualties on the Russian side, 205 killed and 217 wounded, a glimpse into the intensity of the fighting. Despite the obvious political importance, both sides were placing on Bakhmut, Ukraine publicly downplayed the battle. The main goal of Russian troops remains to achieve at least some tactical success in eastern Ukraine, Ukrainian military intelligence representative Andriy Cherniak told the Kyiv Post. But Russia lacked the manpower to mount anything resembling the February 24 invasion last year, he said. Russia did have some success in its encirclement effort. 
Krasnohora fell to Wagner fighters on February 12, Prigozhin said. This was confirmed by pictures of Wagner group fighters there. But as has happened before in this war, the claim of victory became a bone of contention between Wagner paramilitaries and the Russian Defense Ministry, which announced the capture the next day, saying, volunteers of assault detachments, took it. 